and we can we can add file geodatabase and personal geodatabase. Uh, file geodatabase and personal geodatabase is exactly the same uh, thing. The only difference is uh, personal geodatabase using uh, Microsoft Access database. So it's very limited to two gigabyte of data. So if you are using any uh, small data and you know that you're going to be limited uh, and your data will be under two gigabytes, uh, feel free to use personal geodatabase. But if you want if you want to use Oracle or SQL, or uh, you want a bigger uh, unlimited uh, container for your data, you better use uh, file J database. And we're going to see how we can create both of them here. So we're going to start to create a file J database. So we're going to call it my file GDP. And if you double click on it, you'll see that it's empty and have nothing in it because JDatabase is a container for the data. So what we need to do is to right click here or here and see what options we have to create inside it. So we're gonna right click here and say new. And the first thing we can create is a feature dataset. And feature dataset is another smaller container inside the JDatabase. For example, if you have data related to your city and another related to the utilities of this city, you can create a feature dataset for the city and another feature dataset for the utilities. Uh, let's click feature data set. We're going to call it my data set. Go create next. And here it asks us uh, what kind of projection system we want. We're going to go for projected coordinate system, world, and we're going to use the basic WGS 1984 world mercator next. And that's if I'm using any 3D. We're not going to do a lot of, uh, we're not going to do any 3D today. But if I want to add 3D, I need to um, define the Z coordinates uh, for the 3D data. I'm going to click Next. This is for uh, tolerance for each point. So I'm going to click Yes. So here I have my data set. Again, if I double click on it, it's still empty. So what I need to do after that is to right click again and create new and see what kind of data I can create in here. So here I can create a feature class and we can create a relational class, a terrain dataset, network dataset, topology dataset, parcel fabric, geometric network, and this two here is disabled. And the reason it's disabled is because the extensions for network analysis and the 3D is not enabled. And the way to enable it is to go to customize select extensions and enable all of them if you want, but we only need the network analysis and the 3D analysis, but we are gonna enable all of them. Now I close, if I right click again, I see, I'll see this two um, options is enabled. So we're gonna right click, right click and select to create a feature class. And here, this is our actual layer that we're gonna define. Um, first, we're gonna define the name for it. So let's call it uh, let's call it streets and this going to be, um, let's call it streets. This is the actual name of the feature class. Let's give it an alias streets. And we're going to select the type to be line feature because this is streets. So we're going to create line. We can create a polygon, line, point, multi features, multi patch feature and different other kind of classes, but we're going to focus here in the polygon line at a point. We're going to start by line. And if I wanted this for streets, M value uh, represents that it's going to have the measurement for each line. So I'm going to select this one. And if I'm using 3D data, uh, I can select this one, but I don't need it right now. So I'm going to go next. Uh, the tolerance is fine. I'm going to keep it the same way it is. Next. Keep everything default. And all these options and so many things I'm going to skip here because this is going to be for uh, ArcMap uh, Advanced course. And we're going to go through each certain thing in detail. But here I'm showing you the basics to start to create your data and use it. So I'm going to go next. Uh, here it shows me the fields. So we have for each feature class, we have two uh, mandatory fields that the object ID and the geometry. So here I can add another uh, field called street name data type text. Another one here, we can call it length. And this is going to be double. And here you can say if it allow null or not. Default value, I can set it if I want to. And I click Finish.
now I have my street feature class. Let's now I'm gonna create another two feature classes. I'm gonna call it intersection. I'm gonna give it alias the same name. This is gonna be points. I want the end values. Next, next, finish. I'm gonna call it intersection name. It's gonna be text, street name. The main street name for the intersection is gonna be text as well. Finish. Here I can create another one feature class. I'm gonna call it uh, homes or uh, parcels. And this is going to contain the data for the parcels around the streets. And this one's going to be polygon feature class. I want the M, next, 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 finish. And now I created three feature classes inside my data set. We can also create the feature classes outside of uh, in the J database directly. If I right click here, I can create a feature class in here as well. If I go back to my data set, I see the same way, but I cannot create a data set inside a data set. At the end of this video, I want to thank you so much for having the time to watch the video. If you are interested to learn more about ArcGIS products, please go to arcgismastery.com and you will see that we have a lot of selection for online training courses, starting by ArcGIS Desktop and another products like ArcGIS Online, ArcGIS Pro, ArcGIS Enterprise, and so many more. We also have coming courses that you can subscribe to and enroll right now and get a 50% discount. And we will appreciate it if you leave a comment below and let us know what exactly you need to see in this course so we include it in the course for you. And lastly, I will encourage you so much to subscribe to our monthly updates so you can stay updated with what Esri do. At the end, I wish you all the best and thank you so much for watching this video.